Hello, I'm Father Mike Quinn. I'm one of your chaplains for the San Francisco Police Department. Very proud to be one of your chaplains. I was uh, in this compilation of prayers that we use in difficult circumstances. I thought the most important prayer, perhaps, that we might come differently coming from our Catholic Christian background would be the prayer of St. Francis. But I thought before that, I'd like to share with you uh, when Mother Teresa won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1979, she told a story about herself and how she helped others and how she entered difficult circumstances, really not knowing what she was to do, but she was successful anyway. The story she said is as follows. One evening, she and three, the other sisters went out and they picked up four people from the gutters of Calcutta. She was called the person who would go out in the gutters and see people. She was the saint of the gutters is what they called her. Anyway, she went out to see, the, they found four people very, very ill, one woman near death. She, she told the other sisters, take the, um, the three, and I promise I will take the sickest. And she took the woman um, and took her to the convent, found a room for her, and she says, I'll do all that my love can do, which is essentially what all officers do all the time. So, she cleaned her up, put her in to, to bed, and tried to get, give her a little sustenance, which she wasn't able to take too much of. And the woman reached out her hand. And when she reached out her hand, she said, thank you, and had the best smile on her face. Sister recounted this again when she won the Nobel Peace Prize. And she said, uh, Mother Teresa said, in that, this woman, she said, thank you, and then she died. But she died with a smile on her lips or with hope in her heart was because of Mother Teresa, and she, she thanked God then at that moment for, thank you, God, for making me an instrument of your peace, much as the officers of the San Francisco Police Department are instruments of peace. Actually, all first responders are, but definitely our San Francisco Police Department. Anyway, she continued to ruminate, and she thought, what else would I have said? And she says, well, I might have said I'm in pain, or I'm hungry, or I hurt. But she says, that's the wrong focus. The focus is on the other, and that's what hopefully we try to do. And so again, with that in mind, that puts us up, that kind of the setup, so to speak, to say the prayer of St. Francis, that we may have uh, awareness of our own self in relation to others and awareness of the pains and hurts of others, particularly as you continue to minister them day in and day out, before the pandemic, after the pandemic, during the pandemic, during all of this, and into all the difficult circumstances you have, maybe even in your own home. And so... I'd like to recite that prayer for you, the prayer of St. Francis. Lord, make me a channel of your peace. Where there is hatred, may I bring love. Where there is wrong, may I bring the spirit of forgiveness. Where there is discord, may I bring harmony. Where there is error, may I bring truth. Where there is doubt, may I bring faith. Where there is despair, may I bring hope. Where there are shadows, may I bring light. And where there is sadness, may I bring joy. Lord, grant that I may, comfort, I may comfort others rather than to seek comfort for myself, that I may understand rather than to be understood, that I may love rather than to be loved. For it is by getting self that one finds, it is by forgiving that we are forgiving, and it is by dying that we are awakened to eternal life. Amen. This prayer is a beautiful prayer, and it helps us to remember that if we're other-focused, We'll be aware of the wonderful um, gifts of the good people and even the travails we have in life, and we'll take them with a, just a chance for us to grow. And if you are going through a difficult moment right now, I would ask you to look at the gifts you do have and focus on the, the glass being half full. God bless you. May God bless you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.